So look at you, you're crazy now You've done it to yourself There's no one left to take the blame There's only you and no one else And if I remember I did not want this place. I had no desire to have this place. I was very content with my little three bedroom ranch with <laughs> one bathroom. I was working at a nuclear plant raising my daughter. And now we so, have 17 bathrooms now, on the property. <laughs> we, but, but I just want to kind of make that known that it wasn't like my idea to do this. But once we did it, I what do you call it? I, you grew uh, roots here. Well, I, I was in the flipping yeah. mode still. I mean, I would have fixed it, sold it, you know. She grew roots here and did not want to part with it. And, and again, let's back up a little bit. <laughs> when we first looked at it, I'm looking at the Bates Motel, and he's looking at, we can make this beautiful, and you can run it as a bed and breakfast and quit your job, and, you know, we can do all this. And all of that came to fruition. Mm -hmm. It really did. It took but, a long time, but... Mm -hmm. But we went through a lot of severe problems in our lives because to get here. We toured the place and it was pretty much falling down and everything was boarded up and uh, until we got to the house in the back where we live now. That house was in wonderful shape. It was built in the 1950s and it was great shape. Um, so I, and they were, there were people, there were tenants on the property. So. I told a girl that had to listen, I said, oh, you'll sell this in a, a week, a couple of weeks, because the price was right. And it sat here and sat here and sat here. So um, I asked the girl I, that had the listing, I said, hey, why don't you make an appointment and show me this property again? I want to see it again. And I didn't tell Luanne because she wants to buy everything. So um, we came and uh, toured it again, and I... Uh, I put a pencil to it and then the, the rents validated the mortgage and uh, I threw Luann in the car and brought her down here and said, what do you think, you want to buy this place? And she said, absolutely not. <laughs> so, but long story short, um, yes, we did. We made an offer on it, it was accepted and uh, we started chipping away at the place. Okay. And uh, also all the rents that they said were coming in were not coming in so <laughs> you know most most of the things i was told were wrong but a lot of falsification of documentation <laughs> This building, um, the Eagle Cliff Inn, uh, there were sheets of plywood on the porch so you didn't fall through. Um, this room we're sitting in actually, where the dining room here um, had fallen into the crawl space um, from powder post beetles, I guess, and had eaten, eaten the wood away. So No fireplace? No, you know, no fire. It was 12 bedrooms mm -hmm. and two, two bathrooms when we bought it. And it was in total disrepair. It was it, bad. You, you know, it was yeah. the Bates Motel. It seriously was. And was another bad. thing is, too, uh, we were just, you know, we were young, crazy kids that didn't really know what we, we got ourselves into. So we didn't have, we had the money to buy, but we didn't 
let's put it this way, we had the money to get the mortgage, you know, the down payment, but we didn't have the money to fix it. So uh, this Eagle Cliff Inn sat here for what, 12 years? Did it take us? From 1990 until 2003, we opened it. There you go. So it took us that long to get enough equity in the property and, um, and enough much. credit and everything else under our belts to go to the bank and borrow the money because I was not, I was not going to renovate this building unless I had all of the money. And we sold our retirement for it. We sold. We had an IRA. Um, we sold our house that we were living yeah, in. Yeah, honey, that was like thirty-eight bucks. <laughs> It doesn't matter. It was enough that it gave us a down payment. <laughs> that was it. That's what we anyway. sold that and sold our house, and we walked away with thirty grand and so we put we, twenty five in and had five thousand to renovate the whole property. Right. No, it was just it was larger than anything that I had flipped before, <laughs> um, and there was so much to be done. Not not only the bed and breakfast, but the cottages. And then the freestanding duplex back there, um, a number of, it was just... He was seeing no end in sight. Right. I was chipping away and it just didn't seem to be getting anywhere. To him it wasn't because we were seeing income coming in and we were, even though we were piecing things together as far as the paint and maybe indoor-outdoor carpeting, we weren't making a lot of money but we were making enough to make the mortgage. Right. So that's what he had purchased the property for and little by little you know we just made it a cute little property for guests and and it's still a work in progress I mean even 25 years later you know there's always something to be done at least now though we're to the where we are able to do things once one at a time Whereas before, we would look at it and the whole thing was here. What do we do? How are we going to get to this? And we pieced it one at a time and now everything's done. Oh yeah, and we keep a guitar hanging on the wall in here because many of our guests play, you know. Um, last Saturday they said Yeah, no, last played. Saturday a guy came in and he said, hey, I know you play, we want to jam on the board. So we did, you know. It's always fun when somebody else comes along and knows how to play. And you left your love to storybooks and songs that you've heard. Tomorrow. 